Alexa, let there be light. Hello and welcome to Vlogmas Day 1. It is actually November 27th today. As you guys know, I start filming my Vlogmas videos a few days early just so that I have time to edit and upload um, so that basically I can get a, a daily video up. So today is November 27th and it's actually Black Friday and I forgot about that for whatever reason. I mean, all the days in 2020 have just kind of merged into one big blurb, but I made an appointment at the Jump Plus store near me because the Apple store, all of the appointments were all booked up and I wanted to go because I, this is my old phone, which is the 10s, as you guys know, and I want to get a new battery for this because I actually plan on giving this to my mom. My mom is still using an iPhone 7. She's not like a huge techie. She doesn't really care what phone she gets, so she never like goes out of her way to try to score a new iPhone or anything. She's perfectly content um, with whatever phone she has. It's actually really funny because my mom doesn't even have a phone plan. She still has a pay-as-you-go plan, which is hilarious. So she's not like super into technology. Um, other than iPads, she does like to purchase the latest iPad for herself, but not so much phones. Anyway, so because I am gonna give her this phone, um, the battery on it, you guys know, is like my biggest complaint about this device. And I am well gonna get a new battery for it. My mom doesn't use her phone regularly. Sometimes she waits hours and hours to actually message me back, which is kind of annoying. Um, so I'm sure the battery, a new battery on this will perfectly suffice for her because she is not a heavy phone user. I think I've done that with probably 99% of all of my previous iPhones. I've just handed them off to my mom. Anyway, that's the plan. So I gotta go because I have an appointment at 1020 and it is 10 o'clock. I have to clean up my little mess over here because it's just a smorgasbord of stuff, but this is what I'm wearing today. You guys know this coat is from Uniqlo. I wear it all the time. I can't quite close it because one, I'm wearing a thick sweater on here and two, baby weight. <laughs> I'm still hanging on to quite a bit of baby weight actually, um, just because obviously I'm not going to the gym because of COVID and I try to spin, but you know, sometimes you're just like, you need the weights and you need a variety of things. So it's just, it just is what it is. Um, the sweater I'm wearing is from H&M. Jeans are from Mango. Surprisingly, the jeans, like for bottoms, I have no problem fitting into bottoms. It's just kind of like my upper body. And I don't know if it's because I'm still breastfeeding. So like everything is just bigger up here, but like, anyway. <laughs> So the jeans are from Mango. I got them two years ago in Barcelona. Um, and then the shoes are blendstones. You guys are currently um, attached to my magnetic mount that is not MagSafe compatible. And I'm very concerned that you guys are gonna fall off because <laughs> it's not very strong, but it is holding. So yeah, it seems to work okay. It's just, if there's a bump, I'm sure you guys will just fly off so not a permanent solution but I'm still on a hunt for a MagSafe compatible uh, mount for my car that actually works so it has to have a suction cup so if anyone knows of any that have come out recently let me know please and thank you the mall is relatively busy probably not as busy as it would normally be on a like regular non-covid <laughs> black friday but there's still quite a few people here so Hopefully it's not too crowded. Uh, like I used to hate crowds before, now I especially hate crowds. Um, but on a side note, I'm wearing that uh, Uniqlo mask that uh, my mom bought for me. So I had no idea these were even a thing, but my mom did and uh, she's the ultimate influencer. Um, she got online just before they all sold out and she picked up two for her and two for me. And this is one of the colors, I really like it. It's like a really good fit too. I just left um, Jump Plus and they didn't give me an ETA on when it would be um, ready, but they are, they have like the battery, but they apparently to replace the battery on the 10S, you have to replace the speaker. So they have to order that part and then they will give it back to me. Anyway, so I'm heading home now. My in-laws are actually gonna borrow my car. So I'm just trying to head back so that um, I can kind of beat them to my house because 
because their car is getting repaired. So they're just gonna use this so they can go to Costco. Um, yeah, so depending on, oh, I did make a little cheeky purchase while I was in there. I was looking at cases and I didn't pick up a case because I still want to see what other cases are out there before I invest in a case. Although I might just go with the Apple leather case because I really like the leather case for the 10s. But I'm not sure yet. Um, so I just kind of want to see what other cases are out there and watch some more reviews. That's basically if you look at my YouTube history. Um, it's just all like accessory reviews for the new iPhone. But I did make a cheeky purchase and I picked up the MagSafe charger. Um, I don't recommend purchasing the Mag MagSafe charger or really any accessories from Jump Plus. I call it a little surcharge because they just basically tack on five-ish dollars to every Apple item over the Apple MSRP. So the MagSafe charger, if you buy it from the Apple store is $55 but they are selling it for $59.99, so an extra $4.99. I could have ordered it online, but I didn't want to wait until the end of December slash January, which is when it would be available to ship online. And I also didn't want to drive to the Apple store to pick one up because it's 40 minutes away. And with Chloe's like nap schedule and all that kind of stuff, I am, um, I just like don't want to drive 40 minutes there just to get a charger and then 40 minutes back. I don't mind paying the $4.99. It's cheaper than the fuel that I would spend to drive to the nearest Apple store anyway. But if you aren't in a rush to get it, um, you can just pick it up online and save $5. So it is 11 now, which is when Chloe wakes up from her nap. And Hi, she has very scheduled naps and for the most part she actually sleeps for the majority of her scheduled nap. Sometimes she'll wake up maybe like 10 minutes before, but she never cries anymore. Um, like I said, I'll mention like our sleep training journey in a different video because I know some of you are definitely not interested in hearing about it, um, but some of you may be, so it'll be in a separate video. But she does have a, a pretty, I wouldn't say a rigid schedule because if we need to adjust it we can but she's on a schedule and it works out great for her so 11 is when she wakes up from her first nap and she's usually in a pretty good mood chloe did you have a good nap hmm? uh oh you found my necklace no chloe's favorite thing is to pull out necklaces well pull out anything but especially necklaces and then put them in her mouth and bite on them hi chloe do you want to change hmm this is also when we take her out of her jammies and put her in a different outfit. Okay, so just like that, Chloe is napping again. So I think I've already mentioned it probably in a previous vlog, but she does have two naps during the day. They're about two hours long each, and then her bedtime is at six o'clock. So the time that she's awake between her first and second nap is the shortest, especially because she has to have lunch in between. So it usually takes her like half an hour to eat lunch um, and then after that's done, like there's playtime and then it's just, it's nap time again. So I am during this nap, I'm going to just have a little bit of me time and I'm going to watch the Taylor Swift folklore um, sound sessions, I think it's called on Disney plus. I love that album. I think, I don't know why, but it's just good. Um, there's some albums of Taylor's in the last few years that I haven't been like totally obsessed with, but this song or this album is just good. I think it's just the, the melodies and just like this overall sound. I, I, for some reason, I, I love it. So I'm going to watch that on Disney Plus and then I'm going to do a little bit of tidying up. They're just like, our whole house is kind of just a little bit of a mess ever since we had Chloe, especially now that she uh, roams around a lot. It's like, you'll put things away and then she'll just find a drawer and then pull everything out of the drawer. Um, but I'm going to commit to tidying up at least one space a day at least. So today I am going to do the hall closet where we keep our coats and our shoes, the top shelf. Um, ever since we, cause we had to empty out our entire first floor when we um, had our kitchen reno done because during our kitchen reno we also had all the floors replaced on the whole main floor so we had to like empty out the entire closet and then when we 
move back in we put everything back in there it's just like there was no organization to it whatsoever we just kind of shoved everything back where it was relatively supposed to be and then that's it so today i'm going to tackle that i'm going to organize it a bit and i'll show you guys the before and after because it's very very messy i also wanted to quickly mention before somebody <laughs> calls child services on me but um whenever i do errands during um chloe's nap time she's obviously not alone in the house um, i was just looking back at some of the footage i took earlier and i was thinking oh i didn't really explain it very well did i i think i have in a previous video but just to reiterate again um the bow works from home three out of five days a week so when he is working from home um i will do errands sometimes during chloe's like two hour nap window because he doesn't actually have to check in on her at all because she will snap nap pretty soundly throughout the two hours it's just in case obviously of an emergency um so if there is a fire or something happening there's someone obviously home to wake Chloe up and get her out of the house um, but he doesn't watch her during that time because she's napping and then I'm always back like well before she wakes up so I just wanted to mention that because it kind of made it seem that like Chloe's napping and I'm just leaving her at home by herself as I'm like doing some shopping no it's not not quite like that <laughs> guys that was so good i'd recommend watching it if you haven't seen it already um, but just like that it's almost time to get chloe up from her nap chloe hi did you have a good nap did you have a good nap you did hi what are you doing i love you <laughs> you want out Hi! Hi! You little cutie boy! Okay, let's take off your sleep sack. Um. Meow. Okay, ready? One, two, three! <laughs> oh, why are you making such. Okay, so it's about 3.30 now. Um, so Chloe wakes up from her nap, as you guys saw, um, at 3 o'clock. It is a standard schedule for her. Um, that's what she's been um, doing ever since we started sleep training her. So, uh, And it works out really well, actually. So she'll have some playtime uh, from now until about 4.30 when she has dinner. And then she does start her nighttime routine or bedtime routine at 5.30 which is a bath every other day, um, so like bedtime stories, all that kind of stuff. And then bedtime at six. When my mom stays over with us, she obviously plays with Chloe. Um, and then Nai Nai is um, her grandma on the Bose side. And so she will usually come over at like 3.30ish and then play with Chloe and actually feed her dinner. And then she usually goes home at five when she does come over. Anyway, Chloe gets lots of playtime and FaceTime with um, both her Lola and her Nai Nai um, when she sees them. I do like to give Chloe a bit of independent playtime throughout the day. One, so that I can get some like random tasks done and also just for her for development reasons too. Chloe. She's also getting very good at um, holding on to something with one hand, dropping down to pick something up, and then coming back up again. Let me fix your tag, Chloe. Sorry, mommy. Forgot to put your tag down. Hi. It's Friday, which means we usually do takeout. So today we're having sushi and um, the both of the parents made uh, miso soup, so yum. It is also after six o'clock, which means we don't have a kid anymore. <laughs> Chloe went to bed at six o'clock-ish, and yeah, she basically sleeps throughout the night, so we don't see her again until tomorrow at 6.30. Okay, it's time to open day one of our advent calendar, which if you guys saw, my last vlog is the um, Reese's Pieces. Shall this be our usual advent calendar opening spot? Because it's 
very festive with the Christmas tree behind us. Okay, we have the bow here. He's currently playing a game um, through the Apple Arcade because we have a three month free um, subscription because of the new phone that we bought. Oh, here, I already saw it, but I don't know why we kept looking. <laughs> Yum. You know, I was really considering picking up um, like a beauty advent calendar this year. Then I remembered I have like so many other body and skincare things that I figured it would be a waste to just add some more stuff to my collection. Hello, do you want to split this Reese's Pieces? Yes. Okay. First of all, they're super cute and tiny. There's like perfect like little bite size versions. Okay, you can have the first bite. Cheers. Mm -hmm. I like the perfect little bite-sized snack. Okay, we're gonna call it a night. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next vlogmas video. Bye.